everybody, I'm Keychain. Uh, today I want to talk about a new update that's coming to the Ants Underground Kingdom. Um, so we're giving permission to share this document and things that are within it. So uh, let's get started. One of the first things that's coming, oh, and by the way, this is coming in uh, three or four days from now on uh, March 23rd, depending on when you watch it. Um, so let's get into it. There's a new Alliance boss coming. Um, it looks like some type of armadillo, but um, basically an R4 and R5 lures it to the map, and then from there we get to attack the boss daily, um, and there's a max attack chance, so it's kind of like a daily groundhog type thing. I'm guessing that the amount of attacks is less, but there's also a different, um, what they call is a weak attribute, and what that means is basically um, they're going to say guardians are one day. So the troops that are inside the armadillo or the troop type of the armadillo is guardians. So if you're a carrier main, you're going to do extra damage and you'll be able to do more damage than the shooters for once. And then the next time it summons, it'll be shooters. So, you know, if you're a guardian main, not, not many of them out there, you will do more damage. Uh, and then the last time will be carriers. Now, the thing we don't know is how weak they are to that, um, the weak attribute type. Like, as a carrier main, with not many shooter, you know, special ants, will it still be worth it if I take, like, my universal ants and put full shooters into my march and attack with that? Um, or will it still be better for me to just use carriers all the time? So that we'll have to kind of test and figure out as we go. Um, but it doesn't say how long the event's going to go for or if it's, you know, something permanent or just, you know, a one-time thing or if you have to farm up resources to be able to summon the Guardian. Like, it doesn't say what the requirements are for the Alliance boss, but just know it's coming. There'll be tier rewards for personal and Alliance. So I'm guessing that while this boss is active, maybe it's a one-week event and you get to summon it every day for a week, um, your alliance will be competing against who knows how many other alliances. It could be just your kingdom. It could be like a server versus server type thing where you're in a cluster, like, you know, kingdoms 550 to 575 are all in a group, and you're competing against each other for the leaderboard rewards. Um, we'll have to wait and see. Oh, it's right there, <laughs> right in front of my face. Uh, the data will be calculated, ranked among different servers. So the last part that I said is how that's going to go. Um, some of the other things that they've added, there's some small changes and some big changes. So don't dip out just because you're like, oh, now he's into small nonsense stuff. Like there's still more good stuff in here. So when your troops are marching, um, they're changing some wording so that when you tap the goal, basically it's going to say you're marching and then on the way back, it's going to say you're returning. Um, they've added a new inventory category called rewards. So things that you earn specifically as rewards will go into that tab rather than the other or buff or speed up. Like some of the things were a little, a little wonky where they landed. Um, oh, and I jumped ahead. So the troop, you know, returning... It's marching when it goes out, changed to returning when it comes back. So you know from within the the you know the selection screen that your troops are almost back. Um, here's another small change. Um, excess ant frag fragments can be synthesized in batches. So if you had a ton of um, you know extra fragments for some reason and like ants that are ready to be full. If you had more than one at a time, you could do a bunch, which I've never gotten that many fragments that I had multiple ants at the same time. Um, they added the report feature to report the king. So if they use the king feature to send out, you know, bad words or, you know, making fun of people or, you know, being offensive, you can use the, you know, the report function to report the king. Um, they added the ability to use times 10 and times 99 quickly to consume generic skins. So uh, they already had the times 99 in there, I thought. Like after you used one, you could just click the 99 and it was done. But now they've added the times 10 um, to increase experience. So not, not just picking the skin that you want, but actually to consume experience, you can do that quickly now. 
Here's here's something I'm super excited about. This was kind of a big deal. In Lost Island previously, R3s were able to build towers. So alliances were demoting everybody of R out of R3, like making R3 basically a completely useless rank because now you've got 80 people ranked two, one or two rank threes, and then your regular R4s, your officers. So they made it so nobody wants to, you can't make anybody R3 because you can't trust all your R3s. Like they're trusted members, but not everybody pays attention. So this change is fantastic because now we can use the R3 rank as intended to, you know, show the people that kind of deserve to be recognized, but don't want to be officers. Um, so that's kind of what I think the R3 rank is for. And now R4s can sign up for the season match, but they're unable to cancel that. So if an R4 signs you up for Lost Island, the, they can't cancel. So I think the R5 has to cancel it. And then finally, the best change, the most awesome, amazing change in this update, the thing that is totally going to change how I feel about Lost Island personally and probably the way a lot of people feel about Lost Island, um, no resources will be consumed when enhancing buildings It'll only cost enhancement resin in the future. And then they're going to give you back the resources. Um, you'll be compensated back for that. And the thing I'm sad about is I just got rid of that Server 25 account I was playing on, and it's going to get back hundreds of millions of resources all of a sudden. But it's too late. It's already gone. Um, but yeah, the amount of resources you needed to level up buildings in Lost Island was absurd. Um, they had people doing spreadsheets, and it was like, you know, billions of resources to, to go all the way to 25 on all your buildings. And it made it so you don't have any resources left for healing troops and fighting and doing that type stuff. And you had to choose, like, we were making spreadsheets of, you know, the amount of stats you're going to get for these 40 million resources. Well, instead of going past, like, level 15, if you just do research instead, you'll get more stats for the equivalent amount, equivalent amount of resources and it's permanent, like enhancing buildings. Does it reset every season? Like if that was the case, you're using tons of resources. And then the next time you go in, you've got to start all over. It felt really bad. So I'm glad they made this change. Um, it makes that one alongside the R3s um, not being able to build towers anymore is fantastic. So I really like that. And then finally, there's this community exclusive avatar frame. Um, so you can get this via community events, um, and being an observer team, I don't know what the observer team, uh, means, but I think it means, um, like being a discord mod or something like that, like contact Sarah and get more details, um, what the observer team is. There's a lot of different teams and I don't understand what all of them do. So that's, you know, my problem, but, um, Basically, if you're interested in getting a, an exclusive frame and you want to do some work for it, contact Sarah on the official Ants Discord and she'll get you set up. All right, I think that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to hit the like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.